Hi everyone, in this tutorial we will talk about distance. velocity and acceleration and uh, um, so here we will calculate do some calculations uh, which will not require uh, any calculus so for example let's take a first example so um, suppose so, so everybody knows this but let's suppose that we are driving at 60 miles per hour then how long it take for us to go to 600 miles so that will be equal to 600 divided by 60 that will be 10 so that is equal to 10 hours so if you look at the units so we divided miles and we divided by miles per hour so miles is cancelled and we left with hours so if you take a good care of the units then you will not be uh, doing any mistake in the second uh, example is that suppose um, you drive at uh, you want to drive uh, around 360 miles and your speed is 60 miles then how will you how much time should it take you to go there so that will be equal to 360 divided by 60 is equal to 6 and uh, if you look at the units it will be equal to miles divided by miles per hour and that would be equal to hour and this is our 6 hours so that is how you solve for uh, distances now let's make it little more complicated so now let's take an example so this is your velocity and this is your time so what you can also do is suppose your velocity is 60 miles so 60 miles and you drive for 5 hours so this is your 5 hours so what will be the distance so the distance as you know that it will be equal to 60 miles into 5 and that will be equal to uh, 300 miles 60 miles per hour and this is hour so as you take care of the unit it will be miles per hour into hour is equal to miles right so you drive 300 miles so instead of doing this calculation you can also would have done is you have calculated the area of this rectangle so you see this so distance is area of v versus t plot so if you plot velocity versus time then you will get the distance so now let's take another example so now here what we do is so this is a very important example and you have to be uh, careful about this one so let's take examples this is your velocity and this is your time and we have a car which drives slowly and it accelerates so its velocity is zero then it increases the velocity increases the velocity and keep increasing it so when does it happen when you press the gas pedal so when you press the gas pedal you don't reach 60 immediately but it takes you some time to reach 60 right so how will you calculate the distance which was traveled during this time so when you keep accelerating your velocity will increase increase and increase and then suppose uh, let's take this uh, to be um, uh, one hour just to have an easy calculation let's take one hour and now the velocity has reached 60 miles and it took one hour so this is one hour so after one hour 
the velocity was 60 miles and before when we started it was 0 miles and slowly the velocity increased so you can see the velocity slowly increased so if we try to do the calculation we will not be able to do it mathematically here un unless we use calculus but here using the graphs we can do that calculation so we know that distance is equal to area of plot of velocity versus time so here what we'll do is uh, we calculate the area of this triangle and how do we calculate the area of this triangle we know that this length is 1 and this length is 60 so all we have to do is area of the triangle is half into 60 into 1 and that will be equal to 30 miles if you do the uh, units then it is 60 is in miles per hour and then we have hour that will be equal to miles so I, I should say this as miles per hour because this is the velocity right and if you don't know how to calculate the area uh, of the triangle you can also look it in the, this way that if you know this is the area of the rectangle and you have divided it into the half so area of the rectangle is length into the um, width and if you divide it by half that will be equal to area of the triangle so this is how you can calculate the distance without even using the uh, the calculus now take another example now, now suppose we have uh, this um, an example that we accelerated the car so this is our velocity so it's miles per hour we accelerated the car we drove the car and then we deaccelerated the car right and we took so suppose now we took time t this is our t this is our t1 and this is our t2 so we took t time for it to accelerate then we drive at t for t1 time at that acceleration or at that velocity and then we deaccelerate it again and we went to zero so let's let's assume this again to be uh, velocity v right so so now uh, so what so how will we calculate this so now the, the easy way to do this is half into v1 into t so this will be the area of this rect triangle plus so now let me use another color so this is the area of this one so we have calculated that and that is equal to uh, so that is equal to this term and then we calculated the calculate the area of the this rectangle and that will be equal to v1 into t1 right and then we calculated the area of this triangle and that will be again equal to half into v1 to t2 so that will be equal to your total area or the total distance which is traveled so this is equal to your distance traveled now um, we can further go into this and we can define an acceleration so let's let's define acceleration so what is acceleration so so so, so what let, let's look at the velocity first so what is velocity so velocity so velocity is equal to distance over time so suppose now if you if you travel uh, 120 miles in 2 hours so we call that as 
60 miles per hour so we call this as uh, velocity so velocity is a rate of the distance traveled right so what is acceleration so acceleration is rate of velocity divided by time so like this is equal to rate of change in velocity so for example let's say we have a car right and it uh, it starts and it, it accelerates so it starts at zero and then it accelerates uh, so it accelerates and go to velocity of 120 miles but it accelerates very slowly and it takes like two hours so if you take two hours and it reaches the velocity of so this is your now velocity two miles per hour 120 miles per hour so we say that acceleration is equal to 120 divided by 2 that is equal to 60 so it's acceleration was 60 miles 60 um, so here it will be miles divided by hour into hour because so because velocity is miles divided by hour and then because we are again divided by time so it will be uh, again hour so that is your acceleration so now so if you know the acceleration this is now you know the acceleration now so let's go back to the to our our, our distance plot so this is your uh, velocity and you reach at this point so this is your time and you reach this velocity v right and you took time t so now how will you calculate the distance as you as you know we calculated the distance uh, as uh, here as v into t divided by half right so this was your 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 distance however what is your acceleration here so acceleration was v in divided by t you know that right like we just defined that so that is equal to your a so what you can also say is from here is um, you can say that v is equal to a into t so then you have distance is equal to half into so you substitute your v here so it will be a t square so you might have seen this formula somewhere but this is how you define it so distance is equal to is equal to half a t square right and then when you drive it so now again go back so when you you go here so this distance only so when you ex you are accelerating when you are not accelerating you're going constant speed then you say half a t square plus so now you can say so what is your velocity here so your, your velocity here is a into t right and then you say what is your time here so it is your your time uh, so suppose you also do the uh, time t1 here so yeah so that will be called t t1 right and then uh, so this will be the distance travel so here um, if the um, the t1 is different so that is very important you can also write it as half a t square plus v into t uh, t1 so remember that this t1 is different from this one because this is the time you take for acceleration but this is the time you take when you go uh, you are driving at that constant velocity so here we uh, I shown you uh, how to uh, do some ca calculations without using calculus but you can also do this by calculus so now, let, let me give the example for the calculus so how we do that in the calculus is that uh, we define uh, v so this is velocity as a function of time so this is your f of t so what we do is we say suppose um, um, we have to calculate the 
distance so distance will be equal to v into dt and 0 to t so here what we are doing is we are multiplying the v uh, velocity with the time again but here because the velocity is changing with time that's why we say 0 to t and then so what is our velocity velocity is equal to a into t because a is the acceleration so you say a t dt 0 to t and that will be equal to a at t square by 2 so that is what we already had by using a graphical way but this is how you do it using the calculus so i hope this tutorial will help and uh, then i'll see you later then bye